everybody, it's LaVetta Jenkins for She Busy Productions and giving you a little bit of an update on where I've been because I know it's been a while since I posted any type of update video, nothing going on, just a couple of trailers here and there, haven't really posted much. All right, so this is what happened. I had an extreme career change for the better, but I had an extreme career change and it took up a ton of my time and I just was not able to um, come on like I normally would because this job is um, it's a lot more involved than uh, my last job when I was able to you know just like come home not think of anything and go on about my day let me tell you what I'm doing um, everybody knows that I'm in the entertainment industry I do a lot of videography and I've also been doing for years social media management, voiceovers, uh, things like that for other companies. Well, I was hired by a radio station to be the on-air personality, um, and I'm now the um, area's local co-host of the Steve Harvey Morning Show. If you ever want to listen, I'll link it down below so you can kind of get a feel of what I'm doing every day on a day-to-day -day basis. Not only that, but it came with... Um, being a radio personality came with a lot of attachments to it. Um, it's a whole nother animal considering what I'm normally doing is behind the camera, now I'm behind the microphone. So I am still doing weddings, um, you know, short films, things of that nature, commercials, uh, you know, mock-ups and presentations, but my normal job, my day-to-day nine-to-five-ish, if you would say, but it's not actually nine-to-five, my day job is to be an on-air radio personality for Star 94.7. It's in, um, it's located in Ohio. I'll, like I said, I'll link everything below where you can kind of get a feel of what we're doing. And it's, um, it's required a lot out of me. I don't, can't just be my normal self, uh, if I sound a little different, it's because I just got off work and I'm still in radio personality mode and my voice is a little bit different on air than it is in my normal speaking voice. Um, but because of that, I've had to have a um, different Facebook page up for my normal She Busy Productions page, um, a whole different website because there are people who want to know more or just kind of get into more of what I'm doing on um, the radio show. And it's kind of thrown me into mini celebrity blogger type category um, where I talk about uh, celebrity news, things that, that are going on like Hollywood with film, actors, actresses, and uh, gossip talk. So that all has taken a lot of my time doing a lot of the developments and things like that, plus keeping up with all my usual editing that I have for clients. It's really been taxing. Uh, it, it took a lot for me to actually do the Orange is New Black uh, season five recap that I put up the other day. If you haven't caught that, link that down there too. Um, but I noticed that um, the season four recap of Orange is New Black was still getting a lot of comments on it, especially leading up to um, the release of season five because a lot of people went back and watched it. Thank you. A lot of people went back and watched it to refresh their minds on what exactly was happening in Litchfield in season four so that they could be caught up for season five. Just kind of do a refresher instead of watching the whole season. I get it because I had to go back and watch my own stuff too. Um, so what I'm doing now is taking a lot of my time, but I have decided that I'm gonna be a little bit more consistent on posting my uh, radio life. Um, sun's changing. I'm gonna be a lot more consistent posting my radio life because it might be something that someone wants to know. So this is what's been going on in my life. I've been really, really busy in this new career, taking the new path. And even though it's a little bit different than what I normally do, it's still in the entertainment field, entertainment industry, and I actually love it. A lot of people think that radio life is just like really, really glamorous. You get paid a lot of money, you know, money's good, but you get paid a lot of money and everything is just like um, really star status. What I think I'm going to do is do a lot more vlogging on this channel um, to just kind of let you know what the day to day life of a radio personality is like. I'm actually just sitting behind a mic a lot. I've got some footage. I might even put it in here a little bit. 
All right, everybody. So I'm back and I'm still kind of bummed out about Underground. Like I said, they didn't even tell us goodbye. They simply just said, okay, here's a good pic of us. By the way, we're not coming back. Kind of like in old Harlem Nights when uh, that guy called his wife and said, hey, put your mom on the phone. I'm not ever coming home. Kind of like that. I feel like they just dumped us by the side of the road. Well, in an update about the new Tiger Woods uh, news from him getting arrested on Memorial Day, did you hear that he wasn't actually drunk and that this was actually caused by his prescription medication? He was found passed out at the wheel and uh, further testing did prove that there was no alcohol in his system. So I saw someone on Facebook last night say, when is this man going to get his public apology? Listen, I'm going to apologize to you right now because I sure enough thought he was drunk by the look in his eyes. But then again, if he was sleepy because he had taken some type of medication, you know, that's it is what it is and that's what happened so I apologize waiting on everybody else to follow suit and do it too but right here I want to ask you a question speaking of Memorial Day since Memorial Day is now over and this is a question for the ladies as well as the men I've seen it flying around everywhere and I just wanted to know do you ladies fix your husband's plate do you or don't you fix his plate? If you do, call in and let me know. If you don't, call in and let me know. The seven. But right now, I'm getting back to the Steve Harvey Morning Show on Star 94.7. I'm sitting behind the mic a lot and just kind of talking. Uh, and my nickname became quickly the Chatty Passenger because I used to be in um, the 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. time slot. And that's when most people are getting off work, running around doing errands. And I say, you know, I'll just sit here and I'll talk to you while you um, run throughout your, you know, errands, get off work, go to the grocery store, things like that. I said, we'll just talk. I said, I'll be like a chatty passenger in the car. And that stuck. So that's become the new website. It's chattypassenger.com. See, people see me in the street and they say, hey, chatty passenger. And I'm like, hey, how's it going? It's really funny um, that people can recognize me because of my voice. A lot of times um, I'm noticing when I go out in public, I don't speak as, as much as I used to. Did you hear that car? Like I'm, I'm recording here. A lot of times I, I refrain from doing a lot of talking, especially if I've had a tiring day. Cause you know, everything in the radio industry is not always good. And I wear two hats, I do two, two different things there, and it can be pretty taxing. So I notice a lot when I get off work, I don't talk as much because a lot of people listen and I don't want them to be like, hey, you sound familiar. And then I'm like, oh, hey, it's me. And then you gotta do the whole talking thing. And sometimes I'm a little introverted. Sometimes I'm just not in the mood. But um, yeah, this is what I've been doing. It's where I've been. Hey, look, there's the sun. Here comes the sun, do do do. -do. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what's been going on with me. Um, daughter's still away in college. Uh, we moved her down to Full Sail University last Jan uh, not January, last July. So it's almost been a year. She's almost done. She'll be home shortly. And it's just been a whirlwind uh, year. It's been a whirlwind year. And I can't say that anything that's happened has been a bad thing. Everything has happened for the good and for the, you know, the betterment of myself. Um, but yeah, I'll put all my links and everything in the description box below. Also to the She Busy Productions Facebook fan page and the Chatty Passenger uh, Facebook fan page where I am updating a lot more because you know with celebrity culture, it changes a lot and fast and all the time. And there's always something I have to write about, always something I have to talk about, my take on things, a whole lot of different stuff. So I think what I'll just start doing on this channel is not even because, you know, I'm done with school, so there's no school updates to give you. I think I'm just going to update you on what it's like to live this life in the entertainment industry and kind of give you a behind the scenes on what I do. I'm on Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. And then I do sales for the radio station um, after that, which is like on an appointment basis. And when I come home, I'm still not done working because I'm also um, one of the content producers for speaklifetv.com. It's a positive kind of uh, internet television station. So I do a lot of the content for uh, speaklifetv.com. I am the... <laughs> 
sound designer for an audio drama. You guys don't want to miss that. I'll link that down below too. It's called How the Wife Becomes the Other Woman. It's based on a really good book by Mel uh, Ross, which is from Shop Talk with Mel. You might know her by that. And um, I'm just always busy doing something. So that's where I got the name from. She busy because she's literally busy. And I had to stop and think about it one day because I was a little overwhelmed and exhausted. And I had to think like, I asked God to give me my dreams and I really wanted to work. So I can't really be upset when he's giving me what I asked for. So yes, that's what I'm doing. Um, I promise I'll be back at least I would like to say once a week, probably Monday is the lighter day for me, um, but we'll see what happens next week. But in the meantime, I'll just probably take the camera to work with me. I've got a smaller camera since I don't want to be dragging the FS100 or the uh, Panasonic or anything to work with me. Got a smaller little can't even see what this camera is that I'm recording on, but I've got a smaller camera. I'll take it to work with me. You guys can see the day-to-day -day operations on what I'm doing and get a little bit of an insight. So if you have any questions about radio life, what it's like, what we're doing, how did I get into it, leave all your questions, comments down below and we'll talk about it because that's what I do. I chat now for a living. I talk for a living and it's fun. <laughs> So this has been Lavetta Jenkins with an update at She Busy Productions, and I will catch you in the next one, hopefully on a Monday. <laughs> Bye.